Hey guys, uh, my name is Brian Downing. Welcome to the first uh, video recording of uh, QuantLabs.net. Uh, one of the first things I wanted to show you is how to basically start building the infrastructure of a maybe a high frequency trading system. One of the first things you obviously would need is a uh, historical database. Um, one of the things that I discovered on um, one of the uh, best open source uh, repositories out there is called SourceForge.net. Uh, one of the projects I came across was something called Yahoo Stock Symbols. Um, basically it's a, um, a uh, Yahoo script which allows you to um, go into and uh, make requests against Yahoo Finance um, and then also be able to retrieve up to 35,000 stock symbols that uh, Yahoo uh, Finance tracks. And that's obviously on a daily basis uh, with uh, open, close, high, low, uh, and uh, the volumes for each day. Um, so basically, if you come under your Yahoo symbols, Yahoo stock symbols, um, and download the, the initial uh, file here, which is a, a zip file or a tar file, and then expand it onto your desktop, uh, what will happen is you'll be able to um, basically uh, see a variety of uh, files. Um, in this case, uh, the project obviously downloads is YSS. Uh, and from there, you can download your, um, your project. So basically, I'm going to uh, show you the instructions and that sort of thing and what you need to do to get this uh, um, up and running. Uh, there's a readme file. So basically, what you need to do is have uh, Python installed. In here, you'll see that there's a Python get yahoo's uh, symbols.python. You run that. Uh, what you're more interested in is a, a five column uh, file. Um, which is basically this right here. It takes about uh, anywhere from two to four hours to generate a file. Um, and if you choose this five character symbol uh, file, you'll be able to generate something um, called, uh, just give me a second here, uh, you'll be able to generate a file uh, called. Uh, basically Yahoo stock symbols underscore five. And when you look at the file, uh, this is the juicy thing, is that the file um, kind of looks like this. It's a CSV or a comma separated value file. Um, and there are all your symbols. Um, as I said, there's uh, over 35,000. Uh, um, and uh, it's pretty well everything that's on the planet. Um, just showing you the variety of uh, things here, everything from PIMCO uh, to John Hancock uh, to whatever you want, it's all there. Um, and uh, you can do some pretty neat stuff with this uh, type of file. Hey there, uh, it's Brian from uh, quantlabs.net. Today I just wanted to show you a quick uh, way to make a request out to the Yahoo Finance uh, to generate a CSV file or a comma separated uh, value file uh, for any uh, stock symbols that uh, were generated using the uh, YS YSS uh, Python script. Basically what you need to install or is to make sure you have is something similar to a wget. Uh, what that basically does is makes a request out to an HTML uh, URL on the internet and then it will bring back uh, whatever is generated from the um, site. So in our case we're obviously going up against um, uh, ya uh, Yahoo so basically we're going to have something similar to a uh, URL request string something like uh, this HTTP iChart finance dot yahoo dot com blah 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 uh, and then you can run that against your uh, with your wget. In this case, I have wget, and then that string I just showed you, the URL. Uh, and basically, uh, it will request and make this and generate the CSV for you. You don't need to worry about those extra errors. I'm sure you can uh, finesse that as you get better or do more research. But in our case, we have now a uh, CSV table 
uh, generated. Um, and uh, in this case, we can uh, then go into uh, Excel and uh, see what it looks like. Uh, and basically, what it looks like is, is a very basic uh, CSV file uh, with your uh, date, uh, the open, the high, the low, the close, the volume, and the adjusted volume of that particular symbol. Now, uh, for this particular string or URL string I just showed you, goes all the way back since the uh, symbol's inception. So that's something I find pretty cool, um, but that might not be something that uh, you would be uh, interested in. But there is a good resource out there that uh, enables you to uh, take a look at uh, some of the up-to-date uh, Yahoo uh, information, and then that can be found at this uh, gummy-stuff.org uh, slash uh, yahoo-data.html. And this basically contains all the necessary uh, information you need for uh, Yahoo. Uh, as far as I know, it should keep everything up to date where uh, Yahoo may decide to change their uh, URL request info, uh, uh, which they do from time to time, and can screw up any of your processes that you generate for generating these CSV, uh, CSV files. So hopefully that will give you some resources um, to uh, generate your own CSV for any particular uh, Yahoo symbol that uh, you want to retrieve.